Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Meezy69. Welcome back to the channel. A video that is long overdue. It is me playing a different game. Yes, we're playing GTA 5 online. And today, we're going to be talking about the best money-making method in 2021. No, it's not the casino. It's not gambling your life away. And no, it's not even... Uh, jobs as such as sell missions where you sell cargo or vehicles anything like that it's the one thing that everybody is is talking about the best thing to ever come into gta 5 online and that is the ko perico heist now when you if you're new like me i'm fairly new to gta i mean i've been playing gta for years like for years and years the very first one where it's the bird's eye view view um gta london everything i've been playing for years but one thing i've never done with gta 5 is play online until recently until the, like, the last few months and i've been enjoying it to be honest in my spare time i'm not streaming i'm just enjoying gta 5 so the ko heist is by far the best money making method in the game you can earn millions absolutely millions if you've got sort of five six hours a day you can earn upwards of sort of seven eight million in that time absolutely crazy way and the best thing about this heist is you can do it all on your own uh each time if you're quick enough, if you've got all the right uh, all the right tools, you could do it within an hour. You could do all the preps and the actual heist in an hour. Now, I always do different uh, setup missions if depending on who I'm with. If I'm on my own, then I will enter the the the, the heist with a, a long fin. So the approach vehicle, I will always choose the long fin. Uh, the the you will start off with the the north dock. Uh, you enter by the drainage tunnel and your escape point doesn't really matter. You could just choose anywhere. I always do it during the day and I always choose the crack shot gun and the suppressor. For me, that's that works the best. So I always choose the long fin for one reason alone. And I always go and get my secondary loot first before I actually go and get the main the main target as such, which today we are, we have the ruby necklace. So to do this, just follow where I go. It is so simple. I've got this on hard mode as well, so you earn more money. And also, I'm going to be doing the elite challenge where you even you earn even more money. And like I said, it's it, it's all different. All, all changes on who you're with and what secondary loot there is. Now, I always when you scope out the the map, when you scope out the island. Uh, as part of your setup mission, you only need to look at sort of two cameras. One in the basement to see what the, the main target is and in the office. Now, there, there's occasions where you will get the artwork in the office. So you could get one. Very rarely, you could get two. Now, if there is two, two is enough to fill up your loot bag. Uh, so you don't need to come to this point, which if that is the case, I will enter by the cascata because that is the quickest and easiest uh, route to go. But if I'm on my own and I don't have any paintings, then I will come here for sure because it's just so simple. And the main thing I'm looking at for the, uh, uh, now to fill up my loot bag is cocaine because that is the best thing that you can get. So you just shoot that one guard, shoot the camera, come around the corner, open this door here. Uh, if you're lucky, there could be two lots of cocaine. Uh, but if you're unlucky, there might not be any. But today we're going to have one. Now, if this is the case, you can risk filling up the with the cash or the weed that you get from here. But just for video purposes, I'm only going to fill up with the cocaine uh, just to try and get the maximum profit I can get. So because there is only one lot of cocaine here, I need to travel this part of the dock uh, just a little bit longer. Um, as I've said, if you have one uh, artwork in the office, you only need to get one lot of cocaine because that fills up half your bag. The other artwork will fill up the other half and it just saves time. Cocaine is better because it, you earn more. But the artwork, you don't, it's not that much difference to be fair. And for time purposes, because you do want to do that elite challenge, because why not? Uh, you get the extra money. 
uh, cocaine is the best if you can. Now, luckily for me, I do come to this point and there is some cocaine in here as well. So I do actually uh, fuck up a little bit here. Not here, but in a minute with my long fin. If, if you've noticed, uh, I actually drove the long fin onto the, the grass, which really does mess me up. And it could have actually cost me the elite challenge. Now, as I've said, you can. the best thing about this heist is you can do it all on your own. All the other heists around out there, you have to do with two people or four people. Um, you can obviously, you can do this with two people, three people, four people, but I like doing it either on my own or I like doing it with one other person. Now, if I am with one other person, again, I will always enter by the Coscata and you can just sort of scope the the uh, where the house is around the house for the gold and the cash and the artwork the compound um, but when I'm on my own I always come to this point if there is no artwork now uh, I kind of messed up here but luckily because I'm on the dock there is a boat now because we are and we entered by the long fin you have some guards here that don't spot you they only really spot you if you if you get your gun out they, these are the white circle ones you want to stay clear of the red ones uh, but luckily for me there is a boat here but this is some valuable time that i am wasting because i've wasted just because of my mess up with that long fin there so we're just going to leave that and we're going to take this dinghy here to go all the way around to where i need to be the the compound the main entrance or the drainage tunnel is where you want to be now if you do enter by the cascata you're literally right outside the the drainage tunnel so it is a lot lot quicker so always make sure that you scope when you do scope you scope just the basement to see what it is and you scope the office there's two cameras in the office and usually there could be a painting sort of either side and of course you do have the safe in there which we'll talk about as well that will get you a little bit more money so you need to do this within 15 minutes to get the the elite challenges it's actually very simple my son come down a couple of days because he's playing this as well uh, and he's just like dad it's impossible to do this on your own and i'm like Callie just watch and i've done it within 11 minutes now as i've said not only is this the best money making method in gta at the moment it is completely solo like all the setup missions you could do all the setup missions and the heist itself within an hour it's easy as that now there are if you're just joining the game there's two things that you have to buy now i know people go on about um vehicle cargo warehouse vehicle warehouses cargo warehouses are the sort of the best uh, money making businesses in the game yes they are i i, I have all them i i pretty much got everything but when i just joined the game the only thing the first thing in my opinion that you need to buy is the cascata you need to get a cascata that's whatever you need to buy the cascata i think you need um a nightclub or something like that um buy it buy it not for the businesses but you want to get the cascara as soon as possible because once you've got the cascara you can earn an unlimited amount of money uh the next thing you want to buy after the cascara is the the helicopter the the sparrow that you get with this because that way you can do all your setup missions from the sparrow and it's very very quick so when you come to the main compound just turn around cut, follow my direction and it's literally i'm just going to run past everyone and at this point you only need to kill i mean we killed one guard so far we need to kill another three here uh, and one more afterwards which is not a lot you just come around you don't need to shoot anyone just bash him in the head now we're looking for the gate key as well because we want to get that gate key otherwise you have to do four fingerprint scanners uh it, it does get quite difficult and it's time consuming now one of these guys have usually always got the key if they don't then you're going to have to do the finger scanner the fingerprint scanner now on hard mode from the main office it's you need to do four of them um easy mode you need to do two but if you can get the key you could just do what i'm doing here kill these guys go up to the main office now this game obviously i've filled up my loot bag with the cocaine i've got no paintwork anyway and all we need this office for now is the safe now sometimes you can get between 50 and 100k here now i got around what 60 70 almost 70 000 which is still free money so once you get the safe you just want to run back out you don't want to use the elevator because that way you have to do the finger scanner on that elevator just run back down all the way back downstairs turn left here and then jump over this wall and turn a right and now you're at the uh, the underground vault obviously you've got the key which means you can open these gates here uh, and that's what you want the key for so when you go through this gate 
you are going to have a fingerprint scanner to do uh, but because it's on hard mode this you only have two to do now easy mode or the normal mode sorry you only have one of these to do uh, but because it's hard mode you have two but two's better than four from the main office so uh, sometimes you could do this quick sometimes it does sort of throw you off uh, but this time you want to aim sort of maybe 15 to 20 seconds for each one uh, but this time I actually got away with it I got some quite easy ones and I've done it pretty quickly to be honest for me but sometimes I can take forever on these uh, that's so annoying these fingerprint um, these fingerprint scanners but we are going to do it quite easily and once we've done this you are pretty much at the underground vault and you can pick up your main target so we're just going to do one more here i think not this one yep there we go done it nice and easy nice and easy so so far because of the safe we've actually got 507 thousand dollars five hundred and seven thousand and of course we still need to pick up that main target uh which is the ruby necklace normally i get the tequila which is like the shittest one um i've only got the diamond a few times to be a fair, to be fair uh but usually it's this or the the things in the safe whatever they're called i can't even remember what they are um now when you get to this point when you use this uh, this cutter, the quickest way is just go all the way to the top. You don't want to overheat it, so just go all the way to the top. Let it go all the way back down to the bottom, and then do the same. Now you'll have to do this four times, uh, and then after the fourth time, it will ho open sort of when you sort of halfway to three quarters. So we managed to get that, and that now pushes our money up to one one point six million solo. Uh, of course, if we do manage to get the elite challenge, we're going to get around a hundred grand on top of that which goes to around 17 uh 1.7 million once people start taking their cuts you're going to earn around 1.5 million but 1.5 million for not even an hour's work it's simple it's so easy now if you are just joining the game i would always recommend it's hard to get money if you've got no money it is hard to get money now when i joined the game i bought the the pack where you get a few things free i've got like a million free um and I actually did heist with other people. Now, luckily, I had friends like Fizzy and Mystic who, who are already established in the game. They let me join their heist, and they literally just took 15% cut of the profit, and I took sort of 80, 85% of the cut. Uh, so I got money pretty quickly and pretty easy. So once you come out to the compound, you literally just turn right and that is it you just run to this uh, this wall you jump over and this is the most annoying thing uh, the most time consuming thing about the whole heist and that's just because you just need to swim now it doesn't matter where you uh, you click your escape route as long as you escape it doesn't matter how you can go by the the main dock you can go by the airstrip or you could just swim away from the island now this is what i do i'm used to it it means once you exit the compound you don't have to kill anyone and all you have to do is swim of course i'm playing on pc i use an xbox controller uh, make sure you click left on the d-pad for the rebreathers that will let you uh, pretty much breathe underwater. Now, you have like 20. You're only going to get through sort of two. And before you know it, it's all done. Now, I recorded the whole process of this, and it took me 52 minutes to record everything. That is all the setups and the heist at the end. Now, unfortunately, my game actually froze at this point here. Very, very annoying. And I waited about 10 minutes for it, and I was just like, shit is it gonna is it gonna count do i have my money um I'm gonna, am i gonna have to do the heist again uh but luckily i do quit the game and i earn 1.5 million so easy easy money so if you are just joining gta 5 online save up join other people's heists people are always requesting for you to join heists yes they're only probably going to give you 15 percent, but do them over and over again until you have enough money to buy things like the cascata and the sparrow then you can start earning unlimited money so i hope you enjoyed this new video guys i'm meadzy i'll catch you soon bye bye with the